I am going to present my project, the CMU Pickup App. This project is done as a coursework for 12740 fundamentals of Python prototyping. The same user app is same is uh, CMU Pickup App is used for the design of the convenience of the CMU students. It is a dual interface app where the user inputs a set of information asked by the app and the program processes the information and returns a value to the user about the nearest and the quickest pickup location and the options available to the user. The project is organized into five segments. The first segment is the building data feed. The building data feed is used uh, where the building details are fed into the module. Each building is clustered to the nearest pickup location building. This cluster is done by the method of destination bus stop and uh, for example if a person inputs a current location at the Baker Hall it automatically re recognizes the nearest building as the Porter Hall. The next uh, the next module is the time feed. The time feed uh, uses the time data are fed uh, for the bus stop timing. The initial data of the start time is considered as 1830 and the times are used in 24 hour format and the system automatically increments its time duration of 30 minutes into the loop. Two, two methods are created in this module. One is time input where if a user inputs uh, an hour more than 24 or a minute more than 60, the computer automatically uh, puts it at the wrong input. And the time bind bound uses if the user if uh, the time bind uh, method is used to calculate the proper escort time arrival and the duration. So here the next module is the bus stop feed module, where the distance between uh, the two buildings are first of all uh, paired up. The data for the distance between two buildings are fed. The buildings are paired according to the pairing done in the building data module. Uh, and then if it also calculates the time to reach the bus stop by the user. The basic walking speed of the user is assumed as a 50 meters per minute and accordingly hence for the individual uh, pairing of the building the data are calculated. The next uh, class is the distance feed, destination feed class where the destination is defined for the user is predefined and the program to the choice of escort is correlated with the input data by the user. Yeah, this in the method used user drop destination here we are clubbing the various grouping the various destination field and then the computer outputs which of the shuttle to be taken by the user. The GUI user is used for GUI interface is used in order to define a proper uh, produce an input output method to the user. Uh, the module is created to produce an interface between the user and the computer. The computer asks the user to input the variables such as uh, ask string and ask integer functions are also used to create a simple dialog box ask box. Let me run the ask box at first place. So here if you will see uh, it asks for the current location and if you like uh, put porter and then press enter it asks for the hour you put 23 hour and then you put the minute in integer. So this is how it uh, feeds the uh, to the program and the GUI user is GUI interface uh, also carries uh, creates a menu bar if I run it around this program as a GUI it actually creates the here are the diff different zones and here is the option for going to the individual zonal specification so uh, let me go to what is uh, the functions used the functions if python 2.7.12 is used and the coding pycharm is used for the coding package there are various functions that are used first is the list function to define the list of data into the array and the gi gui is used for a smooth input output of the interface and the loop program if a statement is extensively used to compare the situation entered by the user and produce the output, the objected orientation program structure is used to organize the code structure by using various classes, subclasses, and the methods. And the predefined library, such as Tinker library, is used to produce simple dialog box, GUI, menu bars, and options. The outcome of the project has helped me to create various functions that I have learned throughout this mini course. It emphasizes on a holistic development of the use of Python as a programming language, teaches the basic nuances of the coding. A special thanks to the program coordinator, Professor Pine Liu, and all the associated TAs for their support to this program. Thank you.